Hey hey, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to share with you a pencil case tour. I got this pencil case from a Korean brand called Design Gom Gom. It's super cute and super sturdy as well. I love the zipper, it's very high quality, and the color pairing is just... Mm. They are all my favorite colors, the dusty blue and also the more cyan type of blue inside. I've loved stationery for as long as I can remember, so over the years I have accumulated quite a big collection. Today I'm just going to show you a curated few that I like to carry around in my pencil case. This is not everything that I own, but these are the few that I use the most and reach for the most every day. So without further ado, let's jump into it! First off, I'm going to start off with my trusty ruler. I got this during my student orientation week at McGill. It's super sturdy, I've been loving it ever since I got it, so I still have it in my pencil case. Next, I got this eraser that is quite common in China. It's very, very long lasting. I've got it since I was in high school and I still use it now. It's also very squishy, so it can double as a stress relief ball. <laughs> Let's see what else we got around here. Oh, so I got this USB key from my orthodontist at the end of my treatment. It contained the pictures of befores and afters, and I just kept it because it's really cute. Next up, I have a multi-pen from Palette. It's the High Tech Coletto. This one, the barrel is called the Lumio, and I really like it. It's an excellent multi-pen. You can put up to four colors in there, and you have different pen tip sizes and also in colors. The barrel for this one is absolutely amazing. It's very high quality, and it has remained beautiful over the years. I got this during my first visit to Tokyo, and I spent several hours in loft just picking out barrels and the ink color and tip sizes that I wanted. It was heaven on earth. So there's a few downsides to the High Tech C Kaleido. First of all, the refills don't last for very long, so if you use it too often, you'll run out of ink super fast. Second off, the ink isn't super fast drying, so if you're writing really quickly, be careful not to press your hand against it or else it will smudge. And lastly, the ink tends to skip a bit, especially if you haven't used your pen for a while. So that's another thing to take into consideration. Also, am I the only one who really loves breakfast designs, especially the ones featuring like eggs, toast, and milk? It's so cute. This one, the barrel, I believe, is a limited edition one that I also got from Loft. So here's a swatch of the colors I'm currently keeping inside the pen barrel. I also got an insert, which is a mechanical pencil component. It's actually quite handy, especially when you just want to bring one item and you only want to bring either a pen or a pencil. This can double as both. Next up, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with this silhouette. I got the Muji gel pens in 0.38 millimeters, and I have three of them just because <laughs> I really like them. So I usually carry the black one and the navy one together. This is my OG fine tip gel pen that I reach for over and over again. You cannot go wrong with this pen. Overall, I think that the ink quality is pretty good. The main drawbacks are the ink take a long time to dry and also I haven't figured out a good way to highlight over the sink. It always, always smudges. Anyway, next up we got this awesome J Urban Rollerball Pen. I got this as a adult splurge with my first paycheck after joining the workforce and it's pretty awesome. I used to I use this all the time to sign invoices and etc. So it was pretty cool. This pen actually relies on ink cartridges and you can pick the colors. I absolutely love the color choices. I picked the periwinkle and also a purple ink. They look super nice and I haven't found any other pens that have such beautiful inks. And look at these tiny cartridges. They're so cute and they're very satisfying when you put it in for the first time. This is what the ink looks like on paper. This is the periwinkle color. Okay, so next up I have three Faber-Castell text liners. They're the pastel series. So I got a minty green, a blush pink, and a glacier blue. So this is what the tip of the text liner looks like. It's a nice angle and you can also use the tip of the tip <laughs> to color in small crevices. 
To be honest, I don't really use them as highlighters. I use them more when I'm drawing so that I can color in my doodles and give it a light wash of color. As you can see, the blue is very very faint. It's really good for when you're trying to draw like reflections and etc. But I would not try to use these as highlighters. Next up, I have another Pilot pen. This one is the Pilot Acro. Once again, as you can see, I love the purplish um, periwinkle color. And that is exactly why I got this rollerball pen. Except it turned out to be quite amazing. It's one of the only rollerball pens that are not like a typical ink pen that I own. It's really good when you want your writing to be a little less harsh looking since the color is like a darker gray instead of a deep black. Actually, come to think of it, I have yet another pilot pen. This one is quite famous. It's the g Tech pen uh, in 0.4 millimeter. I actually got this as part of a giant haul from a bookstore in Manila. I went a bit crazy in the Philippines and got myself quite a few new stationary items. This one is also a fine tip pen. It's like a needle tip. It's super precise. I really like it. I also got it in 0.3 millimeter, but that one I use it less because the ink tends to skip a lot more since the tip is way too fine. But with the 0.4 millimeter one, I have not yet encountered such an issue. So in 2021, I finally discovered the perfect 0.38 millimeter pens, and these are by Uniball. They're called One. Um, they're amazing. I really like the white barrel. It has a very minimalistic look, and also the ink is so fast drying. And like I mentioned previously with the Muji pen, these ones actually don't have a problem if you highlight over them. And also the tips are so nice. They're exactly 0.38 millimeters, super fine, super precise. And I really like the clickiness of the pens. Yeah, I really have no complaints about them and I got them in several different colors. So that's amazing as well. After I really got into journaling, I also discovered these Uni Balls Signal White pens. These ones, I believe the tips are 0.7 millimeters. They're a bit on the thicker side, but it works really well for a white pen. I really like to use it for detailings, especially in my titles, or to add like a glossy touch or a bit of shine to my sketches. It also works really well on black washi tape or even on blue post-its or just like darker color post-its. These next ones are for people who want to feel real fancy when they're writing, but don't want to spend like a hundred bucks on a pen. These are the Zebra Sarasa Grand. They're in the vintage colors. I got three. So I got gray brown, dark gray, and camel yellow. They have just the right amount of heft so that when you're holding it, it feels very luxurious. And every word you write with these pens just feels super important and expensive. These are in the vintage colors and they're super amazing. So if you guys want to splurge a bit, these are definitely an upgrade to the regular Zebra Sarasa pens. But then again, I could be biased. I do like myself a nice high quality pen barrel. It's actually one of the few 0.5 millimeter pens that I don't mind too much. They just look so nice that I'm willing to forgive the thicker tips. All right, we're finally moving on to the one and only pencil in my ironically named the pencil case. This is the Tom Bao mechanical pencil. It's called the Monograph and it takes 0.5 millimeter lead. I got the one in white because it just looks so minimalistic and clean. One of the good things about this pen is that you can just shake it. The lead will just come out. It's really neat. Or you can simply press the clip in the back and it will also push out the lead which I thought was a really cool design. Also, look at this amazing eraser. It's like never ending. I wish more mechanical pencils had this design. It's just so nice and thoughtful. I've been using it to sketch out all my drawings and I've just been thoroughly enjoying the process of using it. I feel like it's like a modern work of art. It's a bit of a high probability, but I'm nerding out for this pencil. From the same brand, I also got the Mono Zero Eraser. This is honestly such a genius design. The tip of the eraser is extremely fine. So when you want to specifically erase one area and try not to smudge other areas, 
areas of your drawing this is perfect and also it kind of has that like push pen design i really like it and also comes with two extra refills so the last item in my pencil case is actually a recent addition i've been trying more black pens uh, this one is from Pentel and it's their Energel pen in 0.5 millimeters. Don't ask me why I got it, I just really wanted to find an even faster drying ink. And I fell for this one because a lot of people raved over it. I mean, it's okay. I honestly think I need to stop buying pens. Um, it's pretty nice, I like writing with it, but the pen barrel just feels a little cheap, so hopefully I can find it a new vessel in the future, and I will like to use it more. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.